Hey guys, bringing you some highlights from our last war with Hashtag Life located in South Africa. Picture on the screen there of the Cape of Good Hope. Fascinating history, you should definitely check it out. So, let's get rolling. We'll start with Muzza bringing a Queen Walk Mass Valk attack on this Town Hall 9. There's the Queen up in the northeast. A couple of archers picking off buildings that are outside the range of any of the defenses. He rages the queen here because that hog is going to pull the clan castle troops. So the poison spell and those healers at the end of that rage will keep the queen up through killing the clan castle troops. He busts open the wall, uses a golem to bust the wall in another spot. He drops first a test Valk to make sure she's going to go straight and then the whole row of Valks behind her. They're going to go into the core with a jump. They're going to melt through the walls on the west side and just roll through defenses. He's got a couple of wizards, a couple of archers on the outside. Well, those wizards may have just died to a giant bomb. Let's just say a couple of archers on the outside. But the Valks are still up on both sides of the base. The queen is shooting at a wall. She's killing it dead. I think she must cook those things and have them for dinner as much as she likes to shoot them. And there is Moses Three Star, Queen Walk, Mass Valk. Next, we're going to look at two Lava Lunions. This first one is by Extreme. Drops four different balloons in a hay spell trying to lure the clan castle. And that clan castle, it's a dragon, just will not come out. He must be in there taking a snooze. So Extreme has to go ahead and start his attack. He drops his balloons. Hounds behind him, but the hounds run through the balloons. Get to those first two air defenses. No problem. That clan castle dragon is out dogging him right now. His loons take out the third air defense. They work their way over toward the fourth air defense, along with a hound. Now the queen is going to step up and be the hero of this attack. First, she's going to kill the clan castle dragon. That's critical because look, there's nothing left now but minions and pups. Next, the queen is going to come over and in just a second, she's going to take out the enemy queen, which is the other danger to his minions and pups. So there goes the enemy queen. Now he's got smooth sailing, but if that, if his queen had not taken out those two critical pieces, the clan castle dragon and the enemy queen, this attack would have been in real trouble. So here goes Minions and Pups finishing off the Town Hall for a nice, albeit tight, three-star on a Town Hall 9 with a Lava Lunion. Next, we'll look at Spoon's Lava Lunion. Similar, but in this case, there's at least one air defense that's outside the wall, so that's a ready target. So first he zap quakes one of the interior air defenses, drops a balloon to lure the clan castle. Now watch what happens down in this corner. King to make sure that air defense is dead and to anchor the clan castle dragon. His queen to kill the enemy queen, and then there's nothing else left but for her to lure that dragon over. Poison spell, help from a couple wizards. She kills the dragon, kills the enemy king. So he's traded his two heroes for the enemy heroes, clan castle, and an air defense. That's a great trade. Drops his balloons, the hounds behind him, the hounds run through, get ahead of them, tank for them, rage spells on the air defenses, He's got a wizard tower and another external Tesla down here on the southwest. He drops his clan castle dragon and loons on them, drops his minions in. They're going to start working on those trash buildings as the last of the defenses go down. Right here, I wish he had saved two balloons and dropped them north of this air sweeper because this thing's just being a pain to him. It's not really dangerous. He's got plenty of balloons up, but... If he'd held two of those and dropped them up above that camp in the north, late in the raid, this would have gone a little smoother at the end, but plenty of troops remaining. Dragon, lots of balloons, a hound that never popped, and minions, and there's your three-star Lava Lunion. Here's Tushar bringing mass hogs on this Town Hall 9, hiding down among the Town Hall 8s. Notice there is no place for double giant bombs. They have to be outside the walls. That completely changes the nature of a hog attack. You can just crush a base like this because there's nothing on the inside that's likely to kill your hogs once you lure and kill that clan castle 
in this case dragon and wizard. Once he gets his hogs inside those walls, they're pretty much safe. So we're going to see a giant bomb over here not far from where the dragon just got killed. The hogs go in in one giant mass. Once they're inside the walls, they're in great shape. There's a heal spell to keep them really well healed at the beginning. A little haste spell and another heal spell. He drops his clan castle hogs on the other side with yet another heal spell. I'm not sure he's lost a hog yet. This is just bacon on the run here. Um, drops his king in to help with those outside buildings. He's had wizards left, so they're helping take out the trash. The hogs have gone into the middle and killed the town hall. The hogs go in and kill the enemy barbarian king. And there are so many hogs left, it's just ridiculous. You can see where the giant bombs were outside the walls. And here comes Christina from the southeast with dragons. Two dragons to take out those corner builder huts so she doesn't have to come back for them. Dragons along that southeast wall of buildings. They're going to come in. They're going to aggro to that enemy clan castle dragon, which is a good thing. So they're going to quickly, along with the help of a haste spell and a rage spell, take out the southern air defense and then move to the northern air defense. The other northern air defense was zap quaked at the very beginning of the raid. So now these dragons just have to work their way through this base. Now there's a couple of archer towers and a Tesla on the back side of the base, and they are going to plink away at Christina's dragons. So she doesn't have quite the same pack of dragons left at the end here that she usually does, but it's still a decisive three-star. So there goes the last of the Archer Towers. There go the last three buildings other than Builder Hut and a three-dragon, one-puff Builder Hut three-star. And we'll end with a Diverson, Wheelow, Wizards and Loons, Loons to lure the clan castle, an Archer to anchor the dragon outside the range of the defenses, Archers and Wizards to kill the clan castle dragon and the wizard that was in there with him, Loons from the opposite side ringing the base. He's going to rage them into that first air defense, heal them once they get through that so that when they go into the second air defense they're full health he drops his king and wizards over on the last air defense they take it out so now his loons have very little to shoot at them other than this archer tower that just right there is going down and the wizard tower north of it that the wizards just took out so this base is toast i really like that idea of a barbarian king followed by a couple of wizards so, congratulations to both clans for a good war. I will leave you with an aerial shot of Cape Town featuring the Cape Town Stadium built for the 2010 FIFA World Cup.